the back end. Oh, easy. I hope this works. I know. The government <laughs> just doesn't want us to pour gas very fast. I know. Was this a whole kit you bought? Yeah, it's Amazon for like 10 bucks. Amazon 10 bucks. No way. It gives you a bear can with the normal old school uh, spouts. And what else does it give you in here? Show them. Show the uh, folks at home. Cap. Oh, that's the cap. Show them the breather deal what you're installing right now yeah this deal i need to get a bigger hole but then you can up, pop that open and it flows out good yeah like the old school ones yep. yeah <laughs> oh what up y'all and welcome back to another one this is what we got going on we got the boat we got the new surface drive yes i want to give a huge shout out to everybody that dropped a comment on the last two-man boat video I, have we came up with a name for this yet I don't quite think so. I think there's some other ones out there, some YouTube friendly ones too. Yeah, a lot of them that we liked weren't YouTube family friendly, kind of like our podcast isn't, uh-huh. We just made one of the episodes, one of the best episodes we've ever done, we made it public. Yep. So everybody could go check it out. Everybody see if it's worth it, see if you want to be a part of it. It's fun, there's a lot of benefits. Yeah, there's a lot of benefits. Number one is right now we have three hunt giveaways that we're doing. We're doing a hunt giveaway beginning of September for to come here this coming season and then we're doing a snow goose giveaway and then another turkey giveaway so long story short I just had a ton of people say Bob it costs five bucks a lot of podcasts are free out there why should I spend my money well we made one public to show y'all what it's about you know what I'm saying but this is what we got going on the motor let's start with the motor yeah buddy electric start honda uh-huh uh how many horses that bad boy 13. tell them all about it you got to give them the load and i don't really know we're just trying to figure it all out i know hopefully it's not too heavy hopefully it's not too heavy it's not too heavy we're gonna have to relocate the battery to the front which isn't a big deal yeah we're gonna figure it out it will you know what everybody's along for the ride <laughs> you know so Especially we us. opted to buy everything brand new. This is the old setup. If you guys are new and haven't seen it, this is the two man whacking machine quack whacker. I like the quack whacker. That's pretty, pretty decent. We might go with that. That was a, uh, that was a name suggestion. There was a lot of good ones, but this is the old motor setup. This is Preston's old motor, old long tail. And she's just beat man, up. She's beat up mm -hmm. and she's not reliable. Yep. What's the saying? What? Used hard and put away wet? <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? I can't think of it. That's, yeah. Perfect I would, for a boat motor. Perfect for a boat motor, yeah. Bust out another thousand. Not on the old public two-man. See, I kind of want to make it like the public something. You know what I mean? Because yeah. that's what this is going to be used for mostly is public duck smash fest. Yeah, well, I can't wait. Yeah. When we got two months until it opens here. Two Teal. months. Yeah. Two and months to the be, day, I think. We're gonna be swatting gnats and mosquitoes all morning long. But uh, we could have went with like a Harbor Freight motor, uh, but it could have saved us some money. But we were like, let's get a good one with electric start, yeah. ready to roll, turnkey kind of deal. We don't want to worry about it. Yeah. That's the biggest thing is. Hey, I got them kids. I do not want to be stranded out in the middle of BFE, public land, and having to push or paddle this bad boy all the way back. I want it to work. So we opted uh, to go brand new Honda GX340 electric start. And you guys are going to have to wait to see the surface drive until we bust her out. I haven't even got to see her yet. All right, I'm ready. Ooh. All right, she's there you go. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, well, that ain't bad. Does it weigh as much as that motor? I don't okay. know. That motor is pretty stout. I know. So I think number one, everything that we're unboxing, as far as the surface drive goes, is legit. Yeah. Real legit. Sweet. But issue, it might be too big. Like. 
Very well could be. <laughs> I picked up the surface drive. Check it out. So this is what we bought, y'all. We bought a Mud Skipper surface drive. And this bad boy weighs about the equivalent of this entire unit, meaning output shaft and motor combined. This bad boy is legit. It has really big billet machined components. Looks really good, has some weight to her. But this bad boy is going to bolt right up to the back side of our new motor. Boom, should slide right on there. Should is the key word. Should, I hope works out this whole video. Uh, it mounts up pretty good. It's got the clamping bolts. Looks good. That ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. Nope. That ain't right. That ain't right either. Oh. No, the motor's got to go this Hey, way. you know it came with instructions. Yeah, I know, but I'm not a big instruction guy. I'm not a big instruction guy. I don't think any man is. I don't know. Well, I'm going to sit you guys up on uh, the table over here. We're going to get to putting this thing together. After we're done getting her all put together, we'll go through... First, how much it costs. I know y'all want to know that. Number two, uh, if it's what the quality is like. Number three, difficulty of installation. <laughs> um, figuring that one out. Yeah, we're quick. figuring that one out. Not too bad. We're, we're two guys that are, you know, pretty mechanically inclined. Shouldn't take long here. No, I think we'll get it. That looks right. About the bottom. Oh yeah, it's all in. Button her up, biscuit. Oh, dude, this is a unit. Straight up. Its height is right too with the base. Mm -hmm. well, here's uh, the surface drive. She is mounted up. Whole chain system. I know a lot of these surface drive guys have tore into these before. Now seeing it, man, that's a really easy system in, in case we ever have to work on it. You know, really easy system. But uh, this is her. How sweet is that bad boy? It's got a uh, little pan to adjust the pitch of the entire surface drive. But yeah, that's that's going to be sweet. Dude, that thing is bad. Like, I, I'm not trying to talk it up, but that's bad. Yeah, on this little boat. <laughs> this is one of the best. It's going to be one of the baddest little boats, dude. I hope she floats right. I would much rather have this, like we have talked about, than a big boat. Yeah. Especially for the videos. This is, yeah, it's more fun. It's way more fun. Like taking Evan's little boat out. Yeah. Little boats are fun, especially in public situations. Like the ones we're going to be in. Look at him. Look, old P. Diddy. He's ready. You got him all ready to go. I guess the main, yeah, the main concern now, I think it's all going to go together well. Main concern is the motor going to be too heavy in the water with everything when we go try this out we're going to literally have to take everything out to the water mm -hmm. and see how she does because i don't want to i don't want no accidents yeah like i said i think just moving that battery up here because what's a battery weigh 60 pounds yeah battery probably move it up here it'll help balance it out a lot better yeah. you like it feels right it's just so right when you're standing sitting like you said sitting you only get so far over you have to really do some leaning some lean and rock with it type which stuff is, right there yeah which would be okay but if you stand up and it can still go down a lot we have it set all the way up right got yeah. the handle and throttle all mounted up it's got a bunch of different options on how you want to put it to fit what size of boat you got and to be frankly very honest this motor this whole deal was built for a much bigger boat. Yeah. I'm just going <laughs> to tell you right now. <laughs> like, for real. Shooting for the stars. Shooting for, yeah. Shooting for the stars. Give her the beans, Bob. It is motor time. It's hot out here. We should have did this in the shade. I know. <laughs> so, motor should slide right on here. Output shaft should come to the back. Uh, the kit came with a gear that goes on the back of the output shaft of the motor and then this three link system chain Comes up and goes over the back of the shaft. Let's hope it goes that easy So that goes on first. Yeah, yep, then And then you put there's like a square key 
Uh, it's already in there. It's in the shaft. Okay. So there's a square and key on there. Then that. Right? Show the folks oh, yeah. at home what that is. Yeah. Here's a it's all. I thought it was a clutch at first, but it's basically just a hub. And then on the other side, that's where that three-way chain goes on. So yeah, you get put that on after. I will man this bad boy and place her on there. Am I on there? Oh, that's heavy, dog. Yeah, I need help. Oh. There we go. That was heavy. Woo, 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 woo. All right. She's on there. I need to go your way. There, got one for you. Well, first off, I can say if once we get this thing buttoned up, if it operates as good and easy as it goes together, I'm telling you, I will recommend this mm -hmm. combo you have here. Oh, no. There it is right there in the rocks. Okay, I agree. Um, the only critical thing really is getting the motor lined up. See these four bolts here? We have to lock tight these Allen heads. Uh, that's what binds the motor to this whole output surface drive. Uh, lock, lock tight them up, get the gear on and the chain. We should be ready to go. Oh my goodness, look, these dogs. Oh, by the look on Jax's face, you can tell that he has watched two monkeys uh -huh. you know what in a football that look this it's darn near dark son i haven't picked up the camera for uh, two plus okay. hours yeah oh. this isn't as easy as we thought it would be it was it is definitely not as easy as we thought it would be number one so we're getting ready to see if she'll turn over number one this trying to get this what's your explanation what's your what's your rundown well the way it came the chain was wrapped outside these two posts here mm -hmm. and i don't know why they weren't in the center in the first place well it made it 10 times harder we locked tight at the bolts found you out that the set. chain was on the outside of these had to unmount it all oh my why they started on the outside i don't understand i don't know if you guys buy this kit what he's saying is this chain comes in the box out here and out here make sure you take this apart put the chain inside of these two little dogs that come out i'll call yeah. them dogs i don't know all right we're gonna leave this open to make sure our uh connection with our chain operates good uh one thing about this setup uh if any of you buy it it does not have a neutral okay it doesn't have a park a neutral or sorry park it's not a car didn't have a neutral drive in reverse. It only has, when you turn it on, the prop is live. So, before you fire it up, you gotta make sure everybody's back, including, yeah, old Frederick, get back, dude, go on. My nozzles didn't fit on this particular camera. Oh, it didn't fit? Well, so. we're filling her up. That's a beautiful machine, not gonna lie, sheesh. Well, here we go. Hooking up the old battery terminals. Oh, you think you think you'll she'll fire right up? Give her a little choke. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. I am. I am too. Um, so again, this was a huge experiment for old P Diddy and myself. Um, that's a huge experiment. I mean, you're buying something you know nothing about. We listened to your guys' comments down below. I am glad we got the Honda. I'm just, I'm not worried about the motor so much. I'm just hoping that we got that whole connection on the surface drive right. Mm -hmm. Everything else should be fine, really. I'm just hoping that this, yeah. Yeah, it's on every link down there. Is it? Is yeah. it on there? So a couple things. Number one, I messed up and dropped a bolt oh, I forgot about that. down here down in there we had and every bolt on yes and so we had to take it off and dump it upside down and get everything out number two thank thank goodness you've seen it but there's obviously a gear with teeth down here on this shaft so you got to make sure that the chain is on it as well yeah hopefully we got the tension right on there all right y'all let you take the one of the keys on this side yeah go <laughs> Oh, 
the nice easy engine that is exactly why we didn't go to harbor freight how did the fuel get down there that quick i don't know the, that's crazy well, i mean it tur turned over half yeah a we didn't have to prime it or anything that's awesome that is so cool oh my well it ran good let's check all this look she ran good oh, yeah you want to see what it looks like oh yeah so that's all so we have to go get another five ounces of lubricating oil which we're just going to get at walmart because we don't have a plug for the boat oh, yeah, we gotta go do so that. you just definitely need the plug before we take oh. five more ounces they gave us a, like a syringe for it so. <clears throat> well so out of this kit the mud skipper does it have a number or was it just mud skipper yeah we got the there you go ym13 we got the 13 horse yeah the ym13 yeah um we bought the motor separate because they were out of stock on a certain one we were looking at yeah the electric start one i don't know you can buy whatever motor you want from like and it all fits on this because all these yeah. lawnmower engines are like the same thing it just hooks right up um i would say it's a two-man job for sure it's yeah. definitely a two-man An job. engine hoist would be nice holding yeah. stuff up yeah I but know. how much let's tell the people at home how much did we spend on this kit all right so we spent eight hundred dollars on that getting it here on the motor on the motor the lower unit was gonna have to pause for a second. <laughs> Cut. So yeah, eight hundred for this. Our total for this was seventeen hundred. So sweet for the lower unit for okay. the actual. And then, God, we put what two hundred dollars with the battery, the LED lights on it. Well, uh, just for let just, just for this. this. So, so and we're gonna have to buy the new twenty five hundred bucks for th and the new throttle connection. We gotta mm -hmm. buy it. So that's probably another hundred bucks or something. Yeah. So twenty twenty eight hundred is that we said? Twenty price twenty six hundred total then. A lot of people are gonna get on here and they're gonna say, Bob, you gonna buy you a whole big boat, sixteen foot, eighteen foot, but dude. It's been sitting here. We had to do something with yeah. it. Yeah. And for two guys, dude, we're gonna be able to go through the cat, blaze through the cattails. Yeah. The get same right so where fun. we want to go when till season comes. Easily. We're gonna use it a bunch. Marine. Yeah. Oh look, it's almost season the old deer corn. Oh, we were just talking about seasons in the air. I feel it tonight. That's all we talk about. Oh, it is. Ah, oh, well, as y'all can guess. Walmart didn't have any boat plugs, but guess what? The boat store did. Who would have thought? Here we go. Well, hopefully that one right there. That's what I used to have. See if she fits. Try her out. We're ready for a maiden voyage. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, she fits. Nice. There we go. Now we're ready. We bought a throttle cable. Uh, old P. Diddy's going to hook up the throttle. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Hopefully it works. Our brains were fried yesterday. Dude, I'm telling you, yesterday after yeah, getting this thing mounted up correctly, it was a process. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of things that have to be lined up. And I'm not I'm a decent mechanic, but boy howdy. Oh, first official fill up for, for duck poop. Still have it really came up with the name no. i still like this one right here i don't like saying it anyways <laughs> we're gonna get her filled up and ready to go you got the technique going on there what are you doing the overhead technique yeah sweaty armpits overhead yeah, i got sweaty armpits <laughs> yeah <laughs> what did it cost you to fill that hog up uh about 100 bucks for the truck and eight dollars for the hog <laughs> <laughs> all right Y'all ready there, partner? I get it. Let me push you off. Hold on a minute. This is slick. One, two, three. No. Sayonara, sucker. There he goes. We're just gonna do one guy on there at a time. 
Look how low the back is. Oh my god. That motor's heavy, dude. <laughs> oh no. Oh. He just took off. Just like that, he gone. The back is pretty darn low. That's the first thing that I'm seeing. We talked about this last night, Preston and I. Man, there's a bunch of shad jumping right here. Look at this. Busting everywhere. <laughs> it's shallow. It's shallow. See how low the back is? I need to get it up on the back. It's not doing too bad. One thing about it, it's actually doing not too bad for the first go. It's definitely not ripping around like it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> it's so shallow. <laughs> uh, you're bottomed out, bud. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let her eat. There you go. There you go. Come on. <laughs> he is not going anywhere very fast. So it's super, super shallow. It's only like a couple inches deep right there. <laughs> He's got the battle. <laughs> Holy smokes, guy. You're getting rowdy out here. <laughs> we need to get that throttle working. <laughs> I don't know if I got that on here or not. <laughs> we need deeper water. Yeah, this is bad news. Hey, look, yeah, did you see it? It's like, it's deeper here than it is anywhere else. <laughs> What's your first thoughts? Deeper water. This is sand. The bottom of these boats stick to the sand worse than they do mud. <laughs> We're going to have to start making up a lot of excuses real quick. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go float it somewhere. Well, oh man. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> there you go. Later. Oh boy, it's windy out. <laughs> Ooh, well, he gone. That boy is gone. Uh oh. He stopped for some reason. That ain't good. Oh, well, looks like he's good. What? Is it working? <laughs> you look wobbly on there. We took on a little water. It didn't get up on plane because we had that pin lock. Oh. That motor is heavy. That's the issue. The motor is really heavy for that small boat. And I mean, you can tell. Look at that. Well, well, I got interesting really quickly. I don't know. 
when I mean interesting. Trying to load it so windy that the waves were coming over the back. We about lost her. We about, we about lost her. <laughs> we had to trim all the way up so it wouldn't do anything but point the uh -huh. nose up. What is your fr what are you thinking here? This is I dude, I'm not trying to be Oh, I agree. Debbie. We need a new boat. Yeah. We're well, gonna I'm gonna have get to that get little, a bigger one. I'm gonna get that little motor that was on yeah. it before, get it fixed. Then we yeah. got two. About sunk her. I mean most we, of this came in while we were trying to put it yeah, on the trailer. Yeah, most of this came in when we were when, like you said, when we were putting her on the trailer. But yeah. Right when you put it in the water at the other place, even though it was real shallow, I could tell the bass end of it was just so low that. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to find another boat. If anybody knows of a good hole. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did good on the motor. Yeah, exactly. Uh, actually, if you guys actually do know of a, a hole, maybe someone here in Kansas, hit P Diddy up on Instagram in the DMs. Yeah, seriously. Right here. And I guess we're probably gonna look for like a flat bottom. Like a probably. 14 footer? 14 foot flat bottom to throw our new rig on because I just don't think old duck poop is gonna handle the new rig. We were we were really worried about, this is the one thing that we were worried about going into it. This yeah. is why you bought the 13 horse instead of- the 16. Yeah, the 16 yeah. horse for weight. And here we go. Boy, Skipper, you got crazy out there. Well, we got 20 foot white caps out <laughs> here. Did. It could have gone worse. It could have gone worse. We could have sank it. <clears throat> it w I think that, well, I don't think, I know that if we hadn't have got her on the trailer when we did, she, she was getting close. Yeah, she would have been a goner. That would have been a lot of work. Yeah. I had to dock it <clears throat> up on the concrete so P. Diddy could get out. He didn't. He still had his tennis shoes on, didn't want to get them wet. And the waves started really coming over the back end. Yeah. Um, like you were just saying, like a 14, 16 foot flat yeah. bottom. Where we hunt this year, Cheyenne Bottoms, it, it's idle only. Yeah. So we don't need a boat that goes fast necessarily. You don't have to That rip. moto will fit on any duck boat. Yeah. Really. <sighs> kind of hurts my feelers that old duck poop I know. be able to kick and stick i know the thing is the two manner she's just too small she's too narrow yeah how narrow and deep it is it just it's really wobbly we don't have enough rear to keep that big of a motor out of the water mm -hmm. huh. well here back home what's uh What's your go-to here, bud? On the boat? Yeah, boat situation. We knew it might have been too big, but we wanted a nice motor. We didn't want a long tail. And we didn't want an out drive, so surface drive. I think uh, it's just a learning lesson. Learned <laughs> lesson. I'll tell you. Um, hate to see her go. I really wanted to use it. You know what I mean? Really wanted to use her. But biggest thing is safety. Biggest thing amongst all. We had a whole podcast on that. You yeah. should throw that one down in the description too. Cause we, there was a time ago where we had an issue with a boat that was too small. Yep. Too many people. Overloaded. That'll be, that'd be the same thing like that. That would happen. Yeah. And we should have figured out that boat's so old. Like we didn't know. We had to get, give her a go. And, and we knew that if it was an issue, we were just going to get a bigger boat. Yeah, we knew it was possible. We knew it was real possible. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Check this out. I know some of you have seen it, but my buddy Jeremy Zettler on Instagram made that. That is Frederick on a skateboard. How absolutely beautiful is that? Mm -hmm. uh, the podcast, like I said, like P. Diddy just mentioned, we have been cranking out the podcast. We just made one of our best ones completely free. Uh, it is the water swatting podcast. It's one of our best ones. Most uh, viewed everything. We made it public. So anybody that hasn't got to see the podcast, you can go over there and uh, go watch that podcast. It's like a 45 minute hour long podcast. You can get a taste of what the podcast is all about. 
Um, it is adult friendly. Uh, there's a lot of language and stuff over there. So just beware. But it is for 18 and over. I will make that public service announcement right now. But I'll link it at the top of the description below. Thank you all for being here, of course. Uh, this is to be continued. We're gonna find a new hole. I have to find a trailer to go with that new hole. And then we'll be able to put this whole new motor on that bad boy. Hopefully we can find one motor. for a decent price. Motor's all ready to go. Motor's ready to go, you're right. But subscribe if you have it. Hit that little notification bell down there. It'll notify when your boy uploads. But until next time. Blow the back in. Oh my God. That motor's heavy, dude. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.